It's a busy afternoon on the roads around Skipton. With more traffic comes more speeding and more drink driving. So North Yorkshire traffic officers Pete Stringer and Tim Healy are on the lookout for anything that doesn't look right. Now as the volume of traffic slowly increasing again, what we're finding is that crime is very marginally increased, but also the potential for people to be tempted to drink and drive is also on the up as well. This weekend, traffic is likely to be at bank holiday levels, so the police are looking for any excuse to pull vehicles over to carry out breath tests. We'll stop people that maybe don't have the seatbelts on or attempted to use a mobile phone. They will be dealt with for those offences, but also breathalysed. It's not long before they get their first stop. Tinted windows on this black car look illegal. As well as a £100 fine, the driver is given a breath test. Fortunately, he passes without a problem and is allowed to go on his way. A lorry driver is spotted not wearing his seatbelt. Again, it's another good reason to pull the vehicle over and to carry out a routine breath test. He passes. Um, and little things like that um, lead to bigger things and it's the breath testing. Um, somebody that doesn't wear the seatbelt may not put it on because they've had a few too many to drink and they decided to risk it. We expect that all the licensed premises will be busy this weekend. People have been kindly adhering to the, the lockdown measures and are desperate to catch up with their friends. All we would do is urge them to, to put some planning into their night out, make sure they are the designated driver or arrange a taxi in advance. In this day and age, there's no excuse whatsoever at all. You know, do not risk killing yourself or somebody else. Don't risk losing your licence and therefore potentially your job. It's just the most selfish thing that you could do behind the wheel of a car. A mixture of marked and unmarked patrol cars will police 6,000 miles of North Yorkshire roads and the mobile camera vans will also be deployed. Ian White, BBC Look North, Skipton.